All right, so like third video today, um, and I'm covering what I've come to refer to as the leather unknown because, as you can see, it is made of leather, and we don't know much else about it. And, um, now not all of these are made of leather, but I didn't want to have like leather unknowns and plastically leather unknowns. But there's some that use some kind of weird pleather stuff that's or fake leather, I guess. Leather? I don't know kind of pre pretty shit, but this is one of the good ones because it really it uses real leather. It's kind of cozy. Um, and as you can see, literally what we have is we have a front mechanism. And let me move the camera. So we basically have a cup there, and then we have eye goggles. And notice that there's mesh here. Uh, it has been suggested in some parties, or by some parties who have blocked me on Facebook, that these are used for sandblasting, and that's really goddamn stupid. And I disagree wholeheartedly, and I would tell them again, but they've blocked me, because they run away from conversations. Uh, but that's okay, because um, I don't really value their opinion. Now, the only other things that we do know is that one of these, not this one, but another one, came with a package of filters, which would go right there. And the filters, which were basically like toilet paper, again, which would not stand up to sandblasting, thank you very much, were sandwiched in pieces of newspaper, and through those newspapers, I managed to deduce that uh, that mask, or at least the filters, were packaged in roughly 1953 or something. Whenever the hell Abbott and Costello joined the Foreign Legion came out, and then specifically, there were references to theaters and schools in the Chicago area. So I believe this was produced in the 1950s in Chicago. Um. So back to the actual mask, because that's the only history I can give you, is this one, as you can see, has been crudely modified with some elastic straps. That definitely looks aftermarket. Um, it's got two of those, and there's a third strap that goes around here. I've seen a couple other set of also. See, that's jointed like that. I've seen a lot of different setups for these. Again, the material varies, the strappage varies, um, but they're all... Obviously, if you had one and you saw another one, you'd probably think they were produced by the same person. Now, there's no more than maybe... There's less than ten of these, and I probably own like five or six. I can't remember exactly. Um, and then there's two more. Uh, there's the one guy who I mentioned who thinks these are for sandblasting, and he blocked me on Facebook because he's an idiot. And then there's one more owned by a certain person in Spain who I am not commenting on right now for reasons that are understood by everyone who knows who I'm talking about. So, yeah, that's, that's basically it. It's a stupid little mask, probably for nuisance dust. Don't know who made it. They were really bad at making them and even worse at marketing them. And, yeah, like, subscribe, or, you know, throw yourself off a fucking bridge. That's your job.